<coughs> okay. Well, I'll make a motion to open this meeting of the December 12, 2018 Groveland Conservation Commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, we will start with a little bit of uh, non-hearing business here until 7.30, and then we've got four uh, public hearings to continue or to open. So, uh, I guess we've got some uh, residents who want to talk to us about a problem that's occurring on a Rollins Street property. I think she left. Oh, she did? Yeah. I don't Is anyone her. here for Rollins Street property? Oh. No. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> so, well, I can fill you in. So she, <clears throat> this has come up before. Yes. Um, there's um, a pipe that leads from one property, 10 Rollins, out to the back of the property that's owned um, by Kathy. And so she, her question is that because of the pipe that's pushing water out onto her property is that under the conservation's jurisdiction yep. or you went out there right i did but i did not see a pipe when i was out there but i was out there in the summertime mm -hmm. is it is it in jurisdictional there's not wetlands oh. i mean it's wet i mean yeah. it's actual but when i looked it up on the map the actual resource area is a little bit farther back yeah but that doesn't mean it isn't, yeah. right? So, did, did we ever contact the owner? Didn't you speak with the owner? No, I did not. I have not spoken with the owner, and she did speak to the owner, but she said that she was, he, um, that person was not like amenable Concerned. to speaking about it. So. Yeah. Okay. Put it nicely, I guess. So, why don't you find out um, who the owner is and see if we can get in touch with okay. him or her and see if we can go visit. <clears throat> I, I can go with you. Okay. Is 10 Rollins the property that we're concerned about or is that the neighbor's property? Okay. That, that That's the one that, suppo that supposedly has the pipe that leads onto our, gotcha. our property. Okay. I mean, if, you know, at least we get to go out and look at it. Yep. Yeah, I did not see. She showed me pictures, and I saw our actual pictures of which she showed me, but... I, when I was there, you, I could not see it, but the yeah. grass was pretty high. And yeah. Well, you, probably unless you actually go out there, go on the property itself, which we can't do without somebody letting us do that. Right. I was on her property. There's an easement actually between oh. two pieces of property. Yes. Okay. I went on the easement, and yep. then I walked out onto her property. Yep. And that, but when I looked back, although I was standing, it was pretty wet, there, I could not see a pipe there. Yeah. Can you pass this down? That's your owner. Oh, you're so good, John. <laughs> okay. Um, we have the minutes Thank from, from uh, November 14. Did anyone have any changes to those? No changes? Everything looks in order? Mm-hmm. good. Do we want to make a motion to accept them? I would like to make a motion to accept the minutes. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion on that? Okay. So we've got a motion to accept the minutes as submitted. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. One abstention, right? Sure. 
Do we have any old business? Any old business? All right. No old business. How about an update from our agent? Um, the only update I have is with regard to the 40B that's being proposed on Sewell Street. Yes. Uh, we had a meeting. Um, oh, a site review plan? Yes, meeting um, last week with regard to what is being proposed there. Um, everybody kind of put in, but we're still waiting on a plan, which is pretty much the basis for the outcome of that meeting was that we had not received a plan showing exactly where the road, the proposed apartment buildings and everything else is where it's going in. Yes. So until we have a plan that's being submitted, it's kind of hard for anybody to make a decision on anything as to what um, is being proposed. We still have that request for a certificate of compliance yes. for that property too. Yes. We need to schedule a site visit for that. Yep. So I had um, said that, that that was, there was not a certificate of compliance. has not been issued for that property yet, so um, that a site visit was going to be scheduled yep. to go out there to make sure. I did pull out the order of conditions so that when you do schedule it, you can take that with you and make sure that everything has been complied with beforehand. Yes, okay. Um, so was that a normal site review or was that who was involved with Just that? Just a pre it's very preliminary. Um, <coughs> town council, um, finance director, oh, so it planning was. boards, board, um, um, building inspector, <coughs> electric, water and sewer, yeah. DPW, plus the proponents for that particular piece of property, Bill Daly, and yeah. I get what the was it person's rolled needs. into the. 40 friendly 40B negotiations? They had to, has not been a determination as of yet because there's waiting for a plan that was town council's decision was that until a plan was submitted that they couldn't really make a decision on anything so they were waiting for some sort of a plan so um, there was a prior meeting before I got there, so I'm not sure if something was discussed with regard to the friendly 40B. Yep. Um, but they had a meeting, I don't know who attended that meeting, but then the meeting that I attended, <coughs> yes. that did not, was not brought up. So there will be another meeting, <coughs> Correct. a continued site review. Okay. Correct, once a plan has been submitted. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's see if we can schedule a site visit for that certificate of compliance. Um, do we want to do a Saturday? Uh, we're kind of forced to do a Saturday. Um, we could do Saturday the 22nd or Saturday the 29th, <coughs> either before Christmas or after Christmas. I'm good for either. <coughs> either one? How about you, John? I'm good for the 22nd if we're in Los Angeles. <laughs> How about the 29th? 29th is fine. <laughs> what, do you, what about you, Fred? Is, 29th is that works. 29th works. All right, let's schedule it for the 29th. So I can, I'll let um, Bill Daly know about yes. if that he wants they would to like to schedule there. that. <clears throat> yep. Or not. Can I mean, I don't know. Can we get on the property? Yeah. It's all fenced in, right? I uh, no, there's still access. Okay. The last time I was by there it was there was still access to get Can you shoot an email out just so I can remember to put it in my calendar? Sure. Yeah, so Thank we'll you. say like nine A wanna do nine AM. Lovely. That's fine. 
I can send you all in here yeah, as well. Yeah, just usual. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I, an email <coughs> and just to remind everybody and to let him know that you're planning that to be there. Yep. Thank you. bring this up because we have a few more minutes um, on if you recall in August we allowed the owner of seven homestead lane to put up a wall right outside of the hundred foot buffer and cut down some trees in order to do that. And uh, was this the retaining wall that was falling down and they were replacing? This is not the right letter. Oh, it's not. No. <coughs> Again, this is from June. We want the letter that we issued after our August meeting. So it would be days. It's the this only is, one I have that it's scanned in there for seven homesteads. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know. <laughs> my memory is uh, gonzo on this. I have my notes, but I don't know if anybody else, the neighbor wanted to know what we decided, specifically what we had decided about the wall height, the fence placement, plantings, what plantings, and what the timeline was for doing this work. Evidently, the owner of the property has put up the wall. She feels it's quite large, and she was wondering, you know, what kind of plantings the owner was going to put in front of the wall. Don't we have that all in our approval? Because I mean, we're yeah, that's specific. Why, yeah, that's why I want to see the letter <clears throat> right. that we sent to him. Okay, so we need some more chairs, right? Bill, you're taking care of the chairs for us. Thank you. So no one rem you don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember there was the one, the guy that was had a, a retaining wall that was oh. falling no, down. No, it wasn't that one. Okay. You know where Homestead Lane is? No. You, you may not have been here. I, I don't think I was here. Let me see. There's minutes here. Who was here? It was August. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Yeah, I was, no, I was in my calendar just trying to see if I had appointments that day, but. Well, I don't know who was there. 
Yeah, I don't see either way in my calendar as to what are. According to my notes, all it says is fence placed outside of 100 foot buffer. <laughs> Letter permit. We better open the meeting sooner or we're going to get inundated and have to move to VC Park. <laughs> All right. Well, we got one more minute. No, I know. I'm just joking around. <laughs> Are people here to talk about grills? So, no. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God that's, that's not going on. We can come back to that. Okay. All right. So, I'll uh, move that we. Uh, open the uh, hearing portion of our meeting to consider uh, the four hearings uh, that are on our agenda at 7.30. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. So, um, let's see. We didn't, we didn't have a sign-in, right, Julie? No. All right. Is everybody here, or most of these people here, are for one issue in particular? No, I know there's people here uh, <coughs> for number one and number two, number three, that came in later. Um, the town of Groveland, I don't know. That's, <coughs> That's you? That's me. Oh, you were here first. All right. <laughs> you get to go first. Okay. Anyone this else here for the Groveland cutting down of two trees across from Main Street? I highly doubt it, but if you are. Yeah. Okay. So this is a request for determination uh, for the town of Groveland to take down two dead trees at 350, across from 350 Main Street on <coughs> the Merrimack River. My name is Kevin Snow. I'm the general manager of the Thank Groveland Light Department. Um, I talked to Rosemary. I know I talked to you, Mike, about these two trees that are across the street from 350 Main Street. Okay. I believe they're both ash trees. Both of them are in severe decline. In fact, one of them I think is completely dead. Uh, they present a hazard to the Groveland Light Department structure out there. We have two high voltage circuits running out there along with secondary voltage circuits that serve the neighborhood. In addition to presenting a hazard to our own system, they present a hazard to the public, so we're looking for permission from the Conservation Commission to take these two trees down, especially since they lie within the 100 feet or so of the Merrimack River. Mm. <coughs> yes. Okay. How big were the trees? <coughs> Sorry, but In caliper, I think they're about three feet or so. They're pretty sized. Yeah, they're pretty good trees. sized trees. Good but size yeah, they're, yeah. They're, if you went by, you could see them marked. And these are trees that I've already sought quotations for to have them taken down, so on and so forth. So should we get the approval, we'll move ahead with getting them taken care of. Are they right on the bank? They're not on the bank. They're actually closer to the street. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I would estimate <coughs> they're <coughs> probably at least 25 feet from the high water mark, oh, okay. 20, 25 maybe. With that. No, it seems to be to me. It's a safety issue. So. Yeah, I think that's probably the bottom line is the fact that it is a safety issue. So, <coughs> right. I okay. mean, for us, it sorry for us, it serves a dual purpose. Not only does it protect, you know, like I mentioned before, our infrastructure, but it serves also <coughs> to mitigate that hazard to the public. Right. Um, to me, it's a win-win. We're right. willing to take care of it. Correct. Right. <coughs> And there's nobody here saying that they don't want the trees taken down. Um, Unless they want their electricity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, that's true. Um, all right, so um, what do we think about uh, conditions on this? How do you plan on having them removed, or how are they anticipating 
We've contacted Valley Tree. I'm assuming, given the size of the trees, they'll bring in a crane truck yep. and a bucket, and then take them down piecemeal, and then truck the, you know, the butts. If they're closer to the road, I, my presumption is that they're not going to be dumping things into the river. There will be nothing going so. in the river. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, I think on one of the trees, there's very little that could go into the river. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no, there's no limbs or even anything on <coughs> these trees. They're pretty much gone. What do they do with the root structure afterwards? That is something that we're not going to take care of. I'm hoping the highway department will, you know, end up budgeting to have them stump ground out at some point. Okay. This is mm -hmm. kind of a... Okay, so we we might as well in, what, might as well include that in the permit though, that if st <coughs> when stump grinding is done, that um, we have uh, erosion controls placed ten <coughs> feet around the uh, stump. Okay. So can they reach these to cut down from the road? Yes. So there's okay. So no trucks traveling. Over. Yeah. No, okay. they're they're right. Oh, okay. the, pretty much on the road. That's why you can see them. They're right by the wires and everything. Great. So. Okay. Yeah. Nice and easy. Very easy. So one day. Yeah. Go ahead. One day yep. job. Oh, okay. Completely. Okay. Yeah. So Rosemary, the permit letter, then should say you know when the trees are taken down that you know nothing will go in the river. <coughs> um, all materials will be removed from the site and uh, when the stumps are removed that they will be will be notified and um, erosion, erosion control. controls place 10 feet around the tree on the river side got it and um, send that letter to both the highway department and the light department. Okay. So they both have it. Okay, everyone like that idea? Sounds yep. great. Yep. All right, do you want to make a motion to that effect? I move to allow the town of Groveland to remove the two dead or soon to be dead three foot in uh, diameter trees that are uh, across the street from 350 Main Street uh, with the um, removal to be done in one day and the um, um, highway department to be notified that when the stumps are eventually ground out that we are uh, a proper erosion controls are to be uh, put in place and we are to be notified when that is secondary step is to occur. Good enough. Yep. Second. Got that, Julie. Okay. I have a question, please. Sure. Yes. So, for cutting the tree, is there any is there any engineer I mean, is joining required? Like, uh, how is the bank? I mean, where is the bank? Where the bank? Is there any engineer joining required or not? No, we know where the bank is there because we had an a, a former uh, applicant was uh, put a, a notice of intent there. So we have plans. We've seen where those trees are. Okay, so basically, I mean, I did not see anything about engineering. I will assume any cutting tree does not need engineering, I mean, uh, join. The not, sec second question is that. That's not necessarily true. This is a hazard, and so that's the reason why there's a difference, so. Okay, all right, the second question is uh, do they apply for the RDA, right? Not, yes. Not the GRDA, so, and what's different from GRDA and it's RDA? The same, it's the same, it's the same thing. The GRDA, it's just the Groveland. They, it's always the same thing. GRDA, RDA, same thing. Uh, as I understand, it's different. The RDA, they have no. RDA is free from from Massachusetts. Uh, yes, that's and the GRDA is cost uh, maybe three hundred fifty more than it's made maybe two hundred three fifty to apply it. Right. I don't know. Do they apply for the RDA or GRDA? Why they? No. Do? We always have people file in GRDA. But sometimes they also can. It's up to them. They don't have to file an RDA. An RDA, basically, as far as DEP is concerned, that gives you the right to ask a question. With us, under our bylaw, our practice is that a GRDA, we also will issue a letter permit, if that is the case, 
necessary such as this. We, we would, under DEP, um, you could ask the person to uh, file a notice of intent, but many of these things, we just choose to issue a letter permit. Okay, so the cutting down tree can file as an RDA, is that correct? You can't file an RDA without filing a GRDA. But there, there, this case was filing a GRDA or was filing an RDA? What was, it was a GRDA, but they, they didn't also file an RDA, no. I thought this one on the agenda is an RDA. Well, that, GRDA. that was a mistake. <coughs> it should say, it should always, it, it's assumed <coughs> that it's always a GRDA. GRDA. But uh, can we mean to show everybody where is the application form and where is the application fee for that? It's outside. Right they don't the have door. a fee because it's the town of Groveland. They don't have to pay. The town of Groveland, it, it gets to waive any application fee. Even for the GRDA? Yeah, or anything, or anything. <coughs> All mun municipalities, <coughs> their fees are waived. It's too bad. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you have a second? Yes, we did. Uh, any further discussion? All right. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank yep. you. think that um, Bill are you going to do both of those one uh, 733 Salem and 157 Maine tonight yes okay do we have to formally move that we're opening the discussion on all of these or do we want to no. like we did before we we, we <coughs> voted in the hearing time, so we can just we don't have okay, to have separate Okay, that's why I wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, I know. I just yes. that's why I wanted to make sure that we were formally on the record for doing it. Yes. having done that. Okay. All right, Bill, you've got the floor. Which one are you doing first? Uh, All right. So this is. <coughs> this is an RDA uh, for 733 Salem Street. If you recall, we had a site visit on um, November 17th. <coughs> I don't think you were there, John. I was not. Uh, the rest of us. No, Fred wasn't nope. there either. Uh, Bill, Tom, myself, three of us. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. And then we'll give uh, a bunch of small copies. Change is kind of minor, but we had to change the name of the roads. Um, 
we had Maple Street off of Salem Street, and that's been changed to Oakland Terrace. Mm -hmm. And we had Oak Street off of Washington Street, that's been changed to Meadow Lane. So just to clarify, that's on the plan now, those two names have changed. Uh, Maple Street and Oak Street were taken by the cemetery. So it was a gross hmm. <laughs> So the biggest change is we've reduced the number of lots from four to three. And we removed the, eliminated the lot that was behind the three houses on Washington Street. And we do have to still have Meadow Lane as a right of way um, to create frontage for the third lot, which is the same location as it was before. We had two lots before off of, off of Oak Street. We had this lot and that lot off the little cul-de-sac that we're going to build. Uh, off of Washington Street. So we had frontage on that new road with those two lots. We reduced, took this lot out, eliminated that lot, keep, kept that lot. We uh, reformed, reshaped Meadow Lane into a hammerhead, uh, 40 foot wide coming in. So it's a 10 foot strip on either side. And we've asked the planning board to waive all construction on that road. It's going to be created just for frontage only. And in lieu of um, building that road and having our frontage off that road, we're going to we we'll had a 20, a 35 foot frontage on Oakland Terrace for this lot, and they'll have the driveway that comes down off that road to access that lot. So it'll be literally very limited to no work in the buffer zone for the wetlands. And there's a little bit of work in the buffer zone for the wetlands on this lot for the backyard. It'll be, but it'll be outside the 35 foot no build zone. Um, there'll be no construction of this road at all. It'll just be right away for front of zone. And that's allowed for the planning board to <coughs> permit to the planning board when you have your frontage, uh, your access via a different location than your frontage. And that's, uh, the planning board was pretty receptive to that. We went last week and we sent in this plan and they were very receptive to doing this type of a scenario where we don't build this road and we have all access off of Sandwich Street. So it's a road name only is what you're saying? Exactly. <coughs> okay. What that did is several things. Obviously, it eliminates all the work to build a road, all the drainage, all the infrastructure necessary to build to create access and uh, utilities for these two lots. Uh, what it also did is it made some parcels larger, made a parcel, uh, open space parcel larger, because um, it's not a building lot anymore. And we were able to create three small parcels behind these three lots. <coughs> we're going to do who are willing to offer for purchase to these three owners. And uh, most likely going to offer for purchase of uh, 68 and the large parcel to the town. Um, so that's, that's the biggest change. Again, but now we have access only off this off this road to three lots. And we also were able to slide this house further to the mm -hmm. west to get a little further away from the, the lot on Washington Street by a little more buffer. Um, again, this is preliminary. We're in the process of revising it, the final revised preliminary plans, we have to get back to the planning board uh, for the review of the consultant. Uh, we're probably not going back to the planning board until January 8th for that meeting. So, it's quite a big change, and I think it kind of answers some of the concerns that some of the advisors had, and the commission as well, and I think the DeHulus have acted in good faith to try to develop the property their satisfaction and uh, hopefully to feed some of the concerns of the neighbors and the, and the boards. I think this is a good plan. I, I think we could have got this lot. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could design it, but I, I'm not opposed to doing it this way. It certainly uh, provides uh, pretty good development for the Bill Hulus and uh, allows a lot more, less work in the buffer zone and in the uh, taxi environment further. So, if you have any questions on this particular plan, I can answer it. If you have any questions on the former plan, <coughs> I'll probably abandon fully at uh, the next planning board meeting and submit the revised plans to the review for January 8th. But I didn't revise all the plans set, I just revised the one sheet that showed site work for, for the most part. Uh, yeah. Kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. Now, if they actually did any construction on the the road that's a road name only, they're going to have to come in front of us again at that point if they actually did actually do any work there. <coughs> Is that a correct statement? Just <coughs> yes. We, we will have to come back before you 
30 is a finger stage. Yeah. Right. Most likely for this lot right here because there is somewhere. I'm just wondering in terms of like what we're giving up in terms of, for lack of a better word, rights in the future for, you know, approving it with a, a lane that doesn't exist. But uh, well, that's going to be a problem for us down the road. Not, the, mm -hmm. not saying that you're going to cause a problem. I'm just wondering. No, out. but you see this lot is now extended over here. So really, I mean, they can't subdivide that lot. Right. Yeah. Plus, if they sold those three parcels, 68, J, K, there's no. really no way you're going to go Right. at that point. You know, um, and you, the 100-foot buffer goes right to the end of that. So yeah, anything yeah. happening yeah. over there would have to be yeah. filed. Okay. They'd be filing a notice of intent. But I don't know what they would yeah, file for. There'd be no reason to build it. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. That's, that's kind of the reason why we're doing it. So we're doing it okay. to avoid that. <clears throat> so that will basically stay the same as it is <coughs> now and hopefully forever. Okay. Now, so this is this is very good mm -hmm. as far as the wetlands are concerned mm -hmm. over there, and also, um, you know, I mean, everything except the backyard is uh, pulled out of the hundred foot buffer, which is good. Um, and also helps with some of the neighbors' uh, concerns regarding the wet areas. Not we're not sure if they were wetlands or not, but um, <coughs> um, certainly still an area of concern, as we noted on the um, site visit, right, Bill? Yep. Any other thoughts that we have? Is anyone here for this? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll yes. hear from there are people in a moment. I gather as much. There are neighbors, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, this is an RDA filing, so really. <clears throat> All we need to do is give comment on it and perhaps and just to say that, uh, you know, either a file, you know, more filing needs to take place after this or whatever, you know. We don't really need to make any other decision besides that. Um, and it's not necessarily an endorsement of this plan uh, other than <coughs> to say, you know, there's no impact to this work outside the 100-foot buffer, except perhaps uh, you know, in some of the grading in the, in the uh, backyard there on lot 68G. Which is good. Yeah, this is a vast improvement. Yeah, I, would, I, would, I would expect that we would get a positive determination to come back. Yes. Once right. The right. Right. Because, uh, yeah. Once the final plans are signed, signed, signed the page, and we see what what's actually going to happen behind that one. Right. Which we would definitely need to file an RDA or know some kind. Right. What's going on? What we stand to do. But if, if plan board acts like we expect them to, uh, we anticipate this will not be being built, so it'll be less, much less work to be done. Right. 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 Yeah. Uh, just one comment. If these <coughs> owners decide not to want to buy these parcels, they probably become part of 68 m I know one of one of the abundance that the sidewalk did express interest in buying it from the church when they owned it and the church yes. owned it itself. Yeah. <coughs> to talk to them and see if they're interested in purchasing these. They're, they're small parcels, but they, yes. you know, it just makes their lot whole, I guess, because they're kind of already using some of these. Right. <laughs> so. 
Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so if we have nothing further to say right now, we can take some public comment if anyone wants to uh, offer your thoughts on these plans. Who's here for 733 Salem Street? Why don't you come up? Great. <coughs> Is, uh, right here. Where you, anywhere, 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 it doesn't really matter. Natural Eaton, 163 Washington Street. Okay. So it's definitely improvement from the uh, from the first set of plans. Um, What's you your might, name? I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry. What your name? I'm uh, Matthew Eaton. Okay, thanks, Mr. Eaton. Yep. <clears throat> Did you say that the uh, on six, uh, those parcels would be available to uh, purchase? Yes. In the back. Well, I'm sure Mr. Hull will um, between okay. now. Preliminary and dependent. Being approaching the eighth and the second area. Okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll definitely uh, be okay. approaching you to discuss the options. And that still gives a hundred foot buffer to the wetland. Yes. Okay. The nearest point is the rear of that house on lot 68G. <coughs> you see that hundred <coughs> foot buffer line. Okay. Yep. So none of those trees would come down either then? Okay, right. so the trees would stay the same. And when you say on like Meadow Lane, would that that's that'll be the name of the right of way? Mm hmm But it's paper only. It won't okay. change anything from what I think their plan <clears throat> is. Those are the two questions that I have to ask. If okay. you look at where the frontage is on where that driveway is, it's way over here, like uh, down on the thing, and it's tiny. So that's what they're doing is just give, creating enough frontage for it, and that's what they're okay. creating. But it's going to be, like I said, name only. If they build a, a ro an actual road there, they'd have to be in front of us again. I know again. Carlos uh, De Santos was, was concerned, so he's not yeah. here. No. Okay, okay, no, I'm glad you're voicing your concerns. Good, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep this. I'll bring this to him. Yeah. Just showing that. And do you see where the 100... Uh, the buffer zone is it's right here it's, it's the line that's you can probably yes, see on a bigger you. one uh, so that's the hundred hundred, the hundred foot buffer is this one right here that's the hundred foot buffer. yeah, yeah. Okay. so the closest is gonna be this this the driveway and garages that's about as close as they're gonna be okay. more so interested in the parcel that you be your way over here yes we're right over here yeah yes. okay so and yeah. what is this this what are these right here these like circles are those the actual trees or I don't know that's the what are these guys that just indicates what. We oh no, that's yeah. when we did the soil testing. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. We actually yeah. got some holes there for for, for right. help. Very good. Thank you, gentlemen. Yep. Thank you for coming. Anyone else here on seven thirty three? Just a quick question. Just for clarification. I'm sorry. I have to, we have to My ask name your name. My Allison Quinley. I'm at one six one Washington. Okay. Great. Sorry. I'm not trying to be a pain. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Parcel sixty eight J was one of the original proposed driveways coming from Meadow Lane. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Parcel 68J. <coughs> 68J is the whole parcel that was opposite to Santos, and 68K is the one that was opposite to Oh, okay, so this is, this is not even <coughs> nope, a parcel. It's nope. just a, it was the, one of the original possible roads. No, that is, is she's looking at the how to be oh, okay. buffer so that's and the other one. She's thinking that's a road. Yeah, right. Okay. The house is in the way of the four and now another one. Okay, so that's just delineating the buffer zone. Correct. Correct. The way that they put the parcel number, it looks like it's on the road. Yeah. That's why it's just the angle. If you look at the other three angles, they're the same way. So I, I totally get what you're saying. Okay. Anyone else here for 733 or? Middle lane is not going to be built. It's going to stay just the way it is. It's going to stay the way it is. Uh, no trees, no, no gradient. It's going to stay just like that. The driveway is coming over here. So the house has been shifted over a little bit. So it's going to keep it back and if you do snow plowing, call them. They're going to need you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to be long anyway. Yeah. yeah. I 
So we're, we're hoping that um, this will lessen, not only protect the uh, wetlands, but also lessen the impact on all of those homes bordering the property on Washington Street. We can't guarantee it's going to improve anything. I don't think it's going to improve anything, but I think that this plan won't make anything worse, which I wasn't completely assured of that with the previous plan. All right. So um, somebody want to make a motion, I think. Anyone else have any other questions? We can entertain a motion here to Six. respond to the RDA. Do you well, want me to do it? Yeah, in this case, I want you to do it. All right. You're better at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll make a motion that we issue a positive determination on the RDA, GRDA. Um, for the, the uh, plan as submitted to us tonight, which will, that's the motion. That means that, um, you know, we're saying that we want to see either a notice of intent or another RDA, GRDA filed um, with us according to this plan. I think, do you want to reference the plan being dated yeah. December, yes. 4, December 4, 2018, yes. just so we know which one? Amend my motion, Julie, <clears throat> to say the plan uh, revised on December 4th, 2018. I will second that. So we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Any discussion, Any discussion on the board? No. Nope. Nope. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for coming for those who did come. Thank you very much. Do you have any further questions just for, or are you, you good? So the, the second um, meeting on this will be January 8th. And as the question was asked before, it's the GRE or an RDA. No. The planning board has it on their agenda for January 8th. We won't be having it on our agenda until they file with us which could be February or March, yeah. yeah. And you'll get notice on that because it'll be a new filing. Very good, thank you. Expect more green cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. The next <coughs> hearing is for 157 Main Street. This is a notice of intent. Roland notice of intent continued from our November meeting. Yeah, we had the sidewalk on um, the same day. Yep. Uh, we looked at the wetlands in the back here along. The one of flower is 13 in this area here. Um, I don't know if you have any questions or you have the wetland line. I think it's pretty well defined. Uh, it was a fairly straightforward line. Uh, Patrick couldn't be here today, but he did mention if you had any questions, he would be willing to answer them. Uh, we have email. Uh, so the work is very limited, as we mentioned before, as far as the two lots go, lot four and lot five. Uh, it's a very small amount of work in the buffer zone for those two, and we have a delineated line of pay bales, which will be the limited work, and we'll be uh, currently demarcated with a uh, fence along that line. Um, as you know, on the whole line of this area right around the pond and the whole limit of work will be delineated by a fence uh, and also markers, conservation markers. Uh, I don't know if you have any other questions. Uh, after this change, it's basically the same plan. Uh, I, think, uh, I think it was fairly straightforward when we were out there, so I don't know if there's any questions regarding the sidewalk or any other plan that you have questions on. Majority of the work in the buffer zone has to do with the drainage line itself. So, <coughs> yeah. That's actually most advanced in the river front, not, not the buffer zone. Yeah. I think there's only 
like 4,000 square feet, or some 4,000 square feet of working buffer zone. The rest is we were fine. Too much work we were fine. And so allowed 10% of the 5,000 or just under that, and 8.4% area. And say the large part of that is the pond, the pond, which typically has to be downhill of the way we're doing. But we get as far as we could up the hill. Okay, so some notes that I have um, is that the um, some of the it was rather confusion confusion with some of the flag placements. Some were not marked, and others were worn. Uh, there were some multiple flags in some spots. Uh, the 200 foot buffer wasn't marked. Um, not happy with some of the placement of the flags, particularly along the stream bank, which uh, Rosemary and I had noted um, when we had visited it last summer. And um, I think that I would like to see separate uh, buffer flags for the 200-foot riverfront area. Um, and I'm recommending that we uh, ask the applicant to uh, let us hire our own consultant in light of uh, some of these things. I think we voted on that. Yeah, last, we last were going to so. say tentative based right. on the um, site visit. Yeah. And I wasn't, I personally wasn't convinced of anything that I didn't have my um, concerns about before I went on the site walk, really none of those things were really answered, so. So you want the 200 foot upper zone, So I think first we would need our, the independent. Uh, yes. And the, to determine where the wetland is and then, then we can Remark it. Right, right. So, um, so I'll make a motion that we uh, have the applicant uh, have the applicant. Uh, allow us to pick our own um, wetland scientists to uh, answer our questions and um, confirm the delineation of the uh, riverfront area and the wetland buffers. To be paid for by the applicant. Yeah. <coughs> Is there a second on that? I'll second that. Okay, second on that. All right. Any discussion here? Do we have? Can we? No, we don't. Okay. Do you want? To, are you gonna do mm. a butter? No, we're just we're just voting now to. Oh, okay. Hire, yep. you know, a consultant for us. Um, we're not closing the hearing. Does anyone have any trouble with that? I no, I don't. Not in the slightest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I. I Think it's probably the wisest. It's not a. It's not a. Um, I don't think there's going to be huge differences, but I think that you know, um, ten or fifteen or twenty, twenty-five feet here or there uh, could <coughs> make a difference in things. Bill, do you have any comment or? No. Um, he's, well, actually, I spoke with Patrick today, and he's pretty confident with his line. In fact, said that in some of the flags, he flagged the top of the bank or the top of the slope because he wanted to put it on the bottom, but he couldn't because there was no leaves, no trees down there. So we had to put it on the closest tree up on a hill of it. So his opinion is some of the lines are going to go the other way. <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, if you wanted to have it, we can't. I mean, we have to satisfy the board on the commission on the line. So. 
I just I think we'd like to see several couple names so that we can possibly have a choice. I don't want, I don't have a problem with anyone this week in the area, but Patrick might, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's does it more than I do, obviously he does the delineations and uh, <coughs> I don't think he had a really problem, but just if we can have a couple of names. Um, and if you could we can see their their fees, their associated fees for Nice. I mean, just so, yeah, yeah. so to either Mark <coughs> Jacobs or Hancock's, neither one of them good. have anything before us presently, so that's I prefer to have somebody who, okay. I, you know. I, I don't know which either one of those. I just ask Patrick and we can let Rose know. Yes. What we'll do is, um, well, Let's take a vote on this first, and sure. then we'll tell Rosemary what to do. All in favor of uh, having our own consultant? Aye. 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 Okay. So, Rosemary, can you tomorrow please contact uh, Mark Jake and get their uh, fee schedule for uh, a uh, peer review? <coughs> So you just want the general fees, yeah. not I mean, not the estimate on right. yes. yes. So their hourly rate is on that. They seem to have a rate for doing billing or experience delineation, possibly the meetings to do their findings. Yes, I, you know, I think it will be a pretty um, straightforward peer review bill. I don't think it's going to be. Uh, you know, huge. Yeah. So, um, they can continue the meeting. Yes. Um, unless hearing. anyone else has any <coughs> other comments. So, um, what we'll do is, um, You want to work all this out between now and our next meeting? Yeah, I'd like to do it sooner. The week. <laughs> sooner, <laughs> yes. As fast as we can get them out there before it snows out. Make yes, it right, before. right. And maybe right. we can go to the next meeting and hopefully have answers. Okay, so time. once we have an idea, you know, what you could do is give us give us a check for, you know, $5,000 or something to that effect. So we'll have it and then whatever doesn't get used, we'll refund it. Yes. 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 I'll try to get back to Rose. Yeah. Great. <coughs> okay. So, uh, I'll motion to continue the hearing to our next meeting on January 9th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Twenty eighty rear? Yes. Next one is the Anrad at one eighty rear center street. I thought the tripod was going to be sticking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move the chair over so people can see. Uh, for the record, my name is Mary Rimmer from Rimmer Environmental Consulting. Um, I'm representing 
Tom and Kristen Zarella, who are the applicants, and the property owner, with Russell Dukenat, who's in the back. This is a, a, a request to confirm wetland boundaries only. Um, and this was submitted at my recommendation because at the time of year, we wanted to make sure, it's a 19-acre site, it's a fairly large site, and we wanted to be, be sure that we <clears throat> locked down and confirmed the wetland boundaries before we start having snow and interfering with your... Um, we do have a file number from the project DEP file number that's um, 30-451 and the um, property was originally flagged, originally flagged back in 2015, um, updated and extended some of that flagging in August and September of um, this past year and we had an opportunity, um, Chairman Dempsey and Rosemary, to, to walk um, the site already and look at all the flags and confirm um, the location of those flags. We have, um, this is the Center Street here. Um, the Argilla Brook runs along the property here, um, north to south under, under Center Street. So we have riverfront area, which is this red line here, the inner boundary of the riverfront um, and outer boundary of the riverfront that incorporates a portion of the site. There's also a riverfront area on the other side of our Jill Brook because um, there's a, a wedge of upland um, on, the, on the other side of the river as well. So we have a riverfront area, and then we have bordering vegetated wetland, and that's shown in this green dashed line here, dashed dot line. So there's a, a kind of a blob that comes out through here, this small channel that discharges towards the brook here. And then a fringe of boring vegetated wetland along the edge of the river, all the way along the property, and then also in the back of the property here. <coughs> this is the this is the existing barn and paddocks on the property here. Um, access from the driveway to these properties here. And uh, the wetland continues off. This is the um, utility corridor along the, that forms this, this property line here. And uh, the wetland comes right up to that utility corridor, corridor and then down uh, through here. So there's a piece of um, ice, kind of isolated upland here. And then the you know, developed portion of the site is right through here. Um, there's also some floodplain bordering land subject to flooding is called under the regulations and that's pretty much contained within the, the wetland itself. It doesn't really extend uh, beyond the wetland boundaries. So we're asking for confirmation of the riverfront area boundary and the bordering vegetated wetland boundary so that we can proceed with the no notice of intent um, based on the fact that we have gotten some preliminary feedback <coughs> from the site visit. We've actually filed the notice of intent uh, today. Monday, Monday, and plans were delivered today, and hoping to get onto your agenda for January 9th, because again, we want to try to keep this moving. There's a tight timetable, ultimately, for this project, so um, this is the first step. Rosemary, can you give us a brief report on our site visit? As far as our walk we, out there? What we observed and... So know. we walked from Center Street um, through um, the... There's a little brook that kind of runs through, too. There's a wetland that runs over from the property and across. Mm -hmm. um, and we continued up and followed along the riverfront area. Went around this, this yep, around that way. Yep. yep. And then we walked over to the where the riverfront was, mm -hmm. um, checked all of the delineations and the wetland flags, walked up to the end, actually up to the um, utility corridor, mm -hmm. um, verified there, and then came back around to the barn. We also walked across to the other piece of property to the look at the here. riverfront that was on the other side as well, to verify <coughs> that. Did we, have, did we have any problem with the placement of any of the flags? Uh, no, I believe that you asked Mary to verify soils in one area, and the rest of the, the flagging that we found was um, correct. Okay. 
we did not have a problem with the delineation as it stood. It's a, it's a fairly, uh, oh, not to interrupt, but it's yep. a fairly well-defined boundary in most of the location. There's upland pine and oak forest, and then there's red maple swamp. So there's a, it's a pretty distinct vegetative um, boundary there. Did you have any special comments from the walkthrough? <clears throat> no, other than, um, you know, say comparing <coughs> this site with the um, previous 2015? property, oh. the previous property, this one is a lot flatter and I think a little bit easier to determine. Uh, than, than that one. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm happy, but I was there, so it really depends on if the rest of the board feels the need to go out there, or are you confident that Rosemary and myself uh, you're happy with our uh, visit that we can approve the uh, wetland determination here. I personally feel unqualified to question your <laughs> 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 your years of experience in this, which I do not have. So <laughs> I'm totally fine with with your I mean, analysis of the the situation on the ground without the feeling the need to go there and second guess you. The the this doesn't um, talk at all about what's going to be done here. It's just right. really the wetland determination. And so, um, you know, this is why I much prefer applicants file an ANRAD on a large project like this because we really can just focus on the delineation without worrying about the impact of buildings or anything by what we say or do, you know. Do you have any thoughts, Fred? Um, I like a full written report with pictures. No, I think I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Bill? I'm okay. I snowshoe out there. I think it's pretty cut and dry. Yeah. So. Great. Does anyone here have any... Can we open this to discussion? Yeah, from, sure. Is yeah. anyone here for discussion on this? Anybody have a <clears throat> uh, reason why they think uh, the wetlands may be in less or more of the property? Okay. No. Can I make a yep. motion? Yep. I move to accept the delineation of the wetlands as indicated on the uh, plan that was brought here. Um, and what else do we want to do? Yeah, and um, issue the ORAD. And yeah, issue the ORAD. There we go. ORAD slash GORAD. <laughs> <coughs> Second, I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? Yeah, any discussion on that? <coughs> okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. Thank you. I just wanted to also mention no. that we have, um, in light of the fact that we are My filing for the notice of intent uh, for, at your next hearing, yes. if anyone would like to do a site visit before the hearing, we'd be happy to. Uh, we've already got most of it staked out and add, add to the stake up, but we can need anyone out there to, to uh, review the site, either as a group or individually, mm -hmm. if you would like to do that before January 9th. Yeah. Um, well, we have a site visit scheduled on um, 29th. 29th. The 29th. So... If you want if, to do both of them at the same time, that's fine with me. Yeah. I, I would appreciate, like, seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> It's sometimes um, helpful to see it while yeah. discussing the plans. So. so can you do um, December 29th at, say, uh, what's the other one? 9 o'clock is the other one. Yeah, so uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? December 29th. 10 o'clock, okay. That's fine. Okay. Let's, yeah, I'll remind Rosemary to do a notice on that. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, we'll, 
if if it, if there's snow on the ground, we'll bring our snowshoes. No, but it, it's very work. difficult to to uh, yeah. You know, so we may have to we may have to wait. It's there the same, obviously, it's the same thing with that COC visit. You yeah. Know. I just figured if they're if they're going to be continuing to do further work there that are going to come in front of us, I'd rather I personally want to have a view of it. So not that I'm like I said questioning yeah. your yeah. replacement. Okay, I'll remind Rosemary that we're going to be doing that to add that to the list. Yes. So. so. <clears throat> yes. So. Is it to do that's in the owners of the property? What? Um, the one that we just heard? Yeah. Who are they? 180. Tom, Tom and Kristen, I didn't get their last name. Oh, yeah, I didn't either. Tom, Kristen, yeah. what's, what's your last name? Zorella. Zorella. Two, Can you spell R's, it? Two L's. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you for coming, by the way. Thank you. Our next meeting is January 9th. Yeah. Right? One nine. One nine. One nine. January 9th is our next meeting. And I will keep on top of everybody on that site visit for the 29th if the weather cooperates. Yeah. If not, I'll let you know. And we may have to postpone it. Hopefully. As long as it's before the other meeting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I mean, if we don't, we don't. You know, I mean, I, I, I'm just throwing you. I don't okay. think the <clears throat> snow is on the ground. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hopefully not at that point. All right. So far, it's been. Yes. Yeah, I would like to order. I mean, uh, on some approaching and discussing. We're going to do a site visit after the nine o'clock. Site okay, visit on the 29th for so this property. So 180R. So okay. my you're name is only I'm the yep. of the that we're doing now in the So 180R. And uh, from the last uh, yep. meeting, it means uh, the board decided it means uh, I can replace the existing roof with yes. the condition. Yes. But uh, one okay. of the conditions yeah, I cannot match. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, uh, I bought the uh, 299 301. That's existing property. Okay. In initially, my intention is just maintain it. <coughs> maintain is meaning, so I have to brush and the tree. He's talking tree. about 301. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm just telling you, Mike. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't know. What is it? 301 what? The, 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 the Getty gas station. station. And oh, OK, gotcha, the gas station. Gotcha, gotcha, last, gotcha. At our last meeting, <coughs> um, that applicant was here and we he fired an RDA with us and uh, we uh, approved fixing the roof gotcha yeah that's I read all that about yeah. the flat yeah, roof yeah that was in the minutes yeah, right? the, the, okay. sorry go yeah. ahead okay so, so the, it, at the initially I mean uh, I was trying to maintain the existing I mean uh, building so existing building I mean uh, you have, you can see you can see the tree go on the roof the tree everywhere brush everywhere here to everywhere Yes. Right. And uh, you can see this. And you can see all this. You can see all this. Just tree, brush everywhere. Yes. And uh, I consulting the. Did we continue something from last? Okay. I'm just curious. I consulting in my engineering firm. Okay. And I consulting the Massachusetts DEP department. It's Trump advice. Yes. And I consulting the other town for the conservation mm -hmm. department. What everybody told me is that to maintain the existing building, including the change of existing roof, it's not a jury direct direction for the conservation board. And the homeowner has the responsible and they have the right to maintain it. Okay. Okay. So I apply for a change of existing roof. Mm -hmm. And the the, the, inspect, the building inspector agree with you. Yes. But I got a call from the conservation agent for the for the contract to stop the work because it needs to go through the conservation department approval. Yes. Well, the first I I don't know it's a uh, land required or not. No, but we and approved this in our last meeting. Hold on. Okay. Right. So did you receive a permit yes. letter from yes. us? Yes. What I said at first is that. Uh, this letter said that I cannot cut any tree. I cannot cut anything. But I have to cut a tree on the roof. I have to trim the trim the, the tree and brush around the building. 
this just regular maintenance work. Every year I have to do it. So the trees. There's there, there nothing I can do it. And the tree is everywhere. It's here, here the tree is blocked, uh, the driveway and all this. And wow. I, 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 that, uh, that's not the building. That's the post office there. I, did, I, I understand, but this is the tree inside that lot. Right? Can, I, can I trim this tree? No. I cannot trim this tree? No. no. Okay, I have my insurance not company. Not this one. Not this one. Uh, that I, has nothing to do with the roof. Okay. I, I, this, this one, maybe. If Maybe. it's ruining the roof because well, it's brushing it's, against it, or if it's it, overhanging, well, yeah. right. Yeah. There's one he's thing. allowed to trim it back. I guess not remove it, but what he I has. See the trend. What he has said was yes. that he cannot fix the roof because of the tree limb. Yes, that is what he said. Okay, that's that's right. You're saying that your contractor cannot fix the roof because he says the trees are in the way. Yes, the tree limb. Is Roof. This, this one. It's probably not going to guarantee his work because the, the tree limb is going to brush and ruin the new roof as much as it did the last yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. So. So my question is: the first, I want, I want you to get a permit that I can cut out, uh, cut uh, the trim or, or the the branch going over the roof. Yeah, that, okay. that's possible. That's possible. Okay. I think that that's reasonable. Actually. Yeah. 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 The, the, the second, yes. I think all oh, this uh, tree and the brush around the building, and I should need to trim and uh, cut and uh, over the over the driveway and all to maintain it because uh, it's just the common sense. I mean, yeah. the homeowner has the responsible to cut the grass and keep the yard clean, trim the trim the I means uh, the tree, I mean, it's also the insurance company require me to remove this one because it's the dangerous for the insurance. I think uh, this is the this is from insurance company said that you even cannot cannot have the vegetarian go like this. I mean, so. <coughs> and I, I also I consulting the, the, the Massachusetts DEP and the consulting. Yeah, the, that has nothing to do with us. That has nothing to do with okay. this. Because this is under the bylaw, our right, town bylaw. So the, the global town down, DEP. Okay. They don't care about our bylaw. Okay. You know, but, it's the, like, but is there any way you can show me the bylaw to say I cannot do this? No. Well, we didn't say you couldn't do it. We said that we would like you to file for a permit to do it. That's what we said. So, I think that let's first focus. Let, let me ask you a question. Can you do the roof now? If, if we took care of this tree problem there, could the contractor do the roof, fix the roof for you, or is it too late? I know it's too late, but I want to have this one because I don't want to come back here every year because tree is a every sure, year. Sure, yeah. I, I, I don't want to come here every year. No, to, to I understand, to I understand, I yeah. understand. So he's not going to do the roof now until better weather? Yeah, we want, but I want to start and cut, cut down the tree. I mean, so, so when, you're when, ready, when, when right? Yes, you're ready when um, when weather permits. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 All right. So, <clears throat> I'm. I would suggest that we have Rosemary visit the site with the applicant and advise on and and mark what can be cut. That's. I would definitely yeah. I agree with that a hundred percent. And also, um, look at the rear of the post office. Okay. In small stuff we don't care about. Yeah. Though, do we? No, no I, I think probably some of that <coughs> should be, you know, cut down without, yeah. you know, without any. You know, have rodents going through there if you're having that much stuff. But like brush stuff, we don't care about. Yeah, do this got to be. If it's big stuff, like it's different. Mostly brush. You yeah. know, I mean that obviously. But brush is okay to. That's okay to we cut. Appreciate we appreciate. That's why I try. I, I try to get the confirmation from you, and because I got information from the EP, I got information from all the other town, and I got information from engineering. They said you have the right to do it, and that's not the jurisdiction for the conservation board. To determine, but group like you say that you determine this way. You, I our have to get that our concern yes. was that when the work was being done, that more uh, more trees were going to be cut closer to the bank. No, you know, I'm not going to cut any trees. Well, but we have to. We have to see. We okay. have to. We have to make sure we stipulate that so that misunderstandings don't happen. 
And okay. so, again, when we look at it, it's very close to the river, obviously, and we want to we want to protect as much of the vegetation as possible. But if something is impeding the work, then we can have a discussion about that. And that you know, if something's hanging over the right, that just makes sense to it's, eliminate. It's reasonable it to, yeah. to eliminate that. Yeah. So oh. again, we're not okay. we weren't trying to say you can't touch the land at all. We were making sure that nothing close to the bank or anything that was, you know, a significant tree close to the bank was going to be cut down, and you can say inadvertently or in the process of the work being as much as possible. But again, if it's impeding the work you're doing, we're amenable to that. You're going to work with Rosemary, and she's okay. going to uh, indicate to, to you what is, is appropriate for being removed, uh, cut back, versus... So the roof work can be correct. done in right. the, yeah. any other... Because uh, that was the sole brush. purpose of your yeah, notes. Any yeah. brush. And, uh, and also, because this is the aviator, the brush grow every year. Yes. Right. So I yes. have to maintain it. I mean, right. So. So right. what I proposal is, see, yes. I mean, so I maintain the work along the building. I'm not going to touch anything on the river bank yes. over there. Okay. And here on the parking lot, I have to trim this uh, branch because it's good. Sure. You, yeah. you can see the car is already here. It's dangerous for the public yes. safety. Right. I mean, right. so yeah. I get that. Bill raised right. a good point, though, but we just have to be careful about what we're recommending versus not recommending. And that's why you're going to work with Rosemary, and she'll tell you what you can do. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. The, the question come back to say that they all told me this is not the conservation board joint direction, including the change the existing roof. But that, are you telling me see that in Groveland, change exist, existing roof has to get a permit from the conservation board? Right. Sure. You, you see, sure. can you be sure? Okay. I have to request three times. Can you provide me for past two years, and uh, which? Which house will they change the roof? We don't have any. Approved. We don't have any. So that means you said we that nobody changed the roof within the twenty not, years. Not in the last three years. Are you sure? Uh, as far as I can remember. I can't remember anything. So no. if I give you the if I prove I have one house that have to change the existing roof, did not apply did not apply any permission then from you. Maybe we made a mistake, but uh, I don't recall any. But. You know, isn't this a moot point? I yeah, mean, I mean, yeah. it's kind of a moot point because we approve the work. <laughs> it's already been done. He I don't think, know. He doesn't I, think I we have that, jurisdiction in the I area. think the conservation, no, he doesn't think conservation commission the and the, the mission statement is educated probably for the conservation. Also, is the have you had to fear yeah. and the consensus Both properties are within everybody. Yes, we yes, do. Right? Yeah. Riverfront area. Yeah. The whole property. I don't think we need to go any further with this at this point. No, I don't think so either. I'd like to make a motion to it. Oh, yeah. so, so I have this, uh, I went through the, all the building permits, and this is the house, have to change the roof. And this is the location of the house. What is this? 342 Main Street is uh, changing of a roof, roof, which is apparently is... On 2017. 2017. So why they don't have to do it? I have to do it. Well, I imagine this one slipped through the cracks. See, we are listen. Okay. We are dependent upon information. We don't go and drive around. We are totally dependent upon information from the building inspector. If the building inspector doesn't tell us about something, then we don't know about it. I, I don't recall this one. Did What's you ever address? see this? 342, 342 Main. 342. No, I went through all 342 years. is three down. Years. You're, you're, you're pretty meeting. much where yeah, the, where the no. you're, you're, you're well, right. trees are being cut. So there's a road in between, number one, and the river is on the other side. Well, the here. That would be 342. Yeah, pass that down. 342 would be pretty close to where the they're taking down the trees. That's 350. Yeah. So yeah. the houses are up <clears throat> here, the road is here, the river is down there. I think it's a little bit 
of a difference. Yes. His whole property is oh, within the 200-foot oh, no, 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 river no, front. That. These properties are probably not completely within no, the river plus, front. How do you know? I thought you. you I know we're 342. I know we're 342. You ask me about the engineering joint. Did you ask them about the engineering joint? You have a, first of all, also remember, you have an you, your property is in a commercial industrial zone, not a residence. But that's not different for the well, conservation policy, for the change of roof, and the... And the we're and stricter and on, on commercial and, and industrial. And his whole property is within the two. Change of roof, change the roof, change the roof, I mean, it's, uh, no matter what kind, no, what kind of house. It's uh, not the same. We don't treat them quite the same. We also granted it. Hmm? We granted him the right to change yeah. the roof. I don't know where we're going with this. Okay, yeah, I don't know. because I, I want to find out again. I have more requests. And uh, well, I want to trim down this one. Can I cut this area here for the trees? Because it's just too much tree. No, it's too we small told tree you here. that Rosemary's going to go out with you. Thank <clears> you. We can't. We wouldn't be able to decide it by looking at a picture. Right, the and this is thing, limited exclusively to fixing the roof. So, right. one of the things is, I will tell you that where this dot is, is not where this house is. The house is back there. Oh, yeah, okay. So, they may not even be in the buffer yeah, zone. That dot is off. That's not correct. If you'd like us to do a site visit, we're happy to adjourn the work on the roof. The house, you because everything on the, look at a site visit on the even, house. even numbered, is on the left hand side, not yeah. on the river side. Yeah. So, so the that, dot there is so that not correct. We don't know that that house is even in by this. We don't know that it's even in the buffer zone. That's correct. Right. So why don't you, uh, Rosemary, why don't you take this yeah. and sure. find out where 342 is yeah. and find out if it was even in the buffer zone, which okay. I, you know, I sure. don't think so. Yep, yeah. yeah. we'll do. Okay. So but she'll bring that when she comes to with you sure. to look at the property. Sure. So. So let, let's yeah. just do this. Why don't you do this? Rosemary will go there. She'll look at what you can cut. She'll tell you what you can cut, and she'll mark it. So you can cut that stuff to fix your roof under the permit that we've already issued to you. And she'll also tell you what, what constitutes maintenance on the rear of the post office and around the garage that we would allow without any further permits. Okay, let's okay. do that. Sure. And then when you're with her, you can also take a brief few minutes if you want to cut other things yeah. and she can advise you if you should file for a permit for those things or if they could be considered maintenance. And then she'll report back to us okay. after that. But my goal is that after this visit, you are able to cut the trees and brush that is preventing you from fixing the roof so that you can get that roof fixed. Okay. And then that's done. And then if you want to do more than that, we can deal with that after that. Okay? Yeah, can, we, can, I, can I just keep, keep my idea open? I mean, so no, 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 it's, it's closed. already closed. It's already closed. Yeah. I have already told it. him that. He yeah. wanted to reopen well, it. I it. I did. It, there's a much more request in that uh, in the application. And what I told you was the other things that were in that would require a notice of intent, and you said to me that you did not want to do that, that because you, it, when I told you what it cost, you did not want to file the notice of intent. So you said that what you wanted to do was just keep the RDA, and so that's what happened. When your representative came here, your representative said the same thing, that it was just going to be an RDA, that it, that, and they, you were only there presenting for the roof. That's what she said. My understand RDA yeah. is for determination. Yes. Determination is meaning I request you determine that whether I can do this work or not. The result can come out. No, negative, maybe I can do it. Positive. I may have to do more application, which is not of the intent. That's what I understand. It. Right, and we right? we approved. Do you have the letter approved. that we issued? Is that the letter that yes. we issued? Do you kind of <coughs> look at it? Yes. 
but the, but the I, in, the notes are related RDA, exclusively I, to the I, roof. I apply, I apply more means that you want to cut down this tree and means uh, doing other work at the back for the parking over there. But you can discuss this one. But yes. I would like to continue to discuss. No, this. but here's this was our determination. No, we said you can do the work on the roof, but no additional work at the property would be allowed under this permit, and no. Uh, trees or tree limbs or shrubbery cutting of any kind is allowed. So, indeed, we said that, but, you know, based on the evidence that you bring forth tonight, uh, it looks like, you know, we can't say that. So that's why we're willing to have Rosemary go take a look at it and kind of let you cut the stuff that's right near the building. But, basically, we said, no, we the determination was that there should be no other work on the property besides fitting, fixing the roof. Yeah, but the way I apply it, I apply more than... Yeah, just right. and we turned all that work down. That was the determination. Yeah. No, you did not discuss it. Well, we you didn't already, discuss it. Discussed the we didn't have to, dis we didn't we have to dis discuss it because Rosemary told us that based on her site visit that all work should be a notice of intent. So that's why we didn't have to discuss it. We all agreed that you need to file a notice of intent for any other work you're going to do there. Uh, now, I don't want you not discuss last meeting. No, we didn't discuss it. No. We didn't discuss it other than Rosemary told us that. And yeah, his, and his representative said, right. said that as well. She said that she was just here for the roof. That is what she said. She, yes, because she did not understand everything. You I, sent I, I her as before. your representative. She was here as your representative. <clears throat> because of that, that was the decision that they made. If you had come here, then you might have said, no, I want some, this is whatever. But that was why, what she said. Why didn't you have the original application form to show everybody? And why did you say that you didn't want to do that, that you just were here for the roof? No, I can go back and get the. Was, I, I can go back here. and get the yeah, emails. Go yes, go ahead, please. Uh, don't no. No. <clears throat> I don't want to review something that the notes are very specific as to the roof. That's all it is, okay. and that's all I'm um, making a sort of determination on. You have. You're going to go meet with Rosemary. You're going to go. She's going to show you what you can cut down to fix the roof. Beyond that, I, I can't speculate, and I don't plan on speculating. So the roof is the what we're here in front of and no, discussing. Last time. Because I don't care. I I, if it wasn't, and, uh, you could have brought I, it, you could have brought fifty thousand things, but you didn't. The only thing that was mentioned in all the notes was having to do with well, the roof. except that Rosemary told us that you know there was additional work that was requested, but she said that he needed to file a notice of intent. So right. we didn't address those things. If there's nothing in front of us that we can address, then we're not going to address it. Yeah, but that one should address as the. That's for your representative. That's for a discussion for you and your representative, not for you and us, because it's not in front of us at this point. That's not true. I mean, because I certainly I, it is. I, I mean, we don't I, vote I, on I, stuff I, that's not in not front of us. It, I mean, we don't have any reason to discuss something that's not in front of us. And if this was not in front of us, then we don't she discuss did not, it. She, she did not present any. It's not up to me to. It's present. not her job to do your that. It's your guys. You guys are the ones doing the work. She's not out there. I don't know what you're looking for out of us at this point. Because I want to continue that idea. I have not to get an answer yet. Then file a notice of intent for the other stuff Great. that you want to do. And then we're happy to discuss it. Did I say that? No. You always get the note, the determination, <clears throat> the determine whether you need to file the notice of intent or not. So why do you want? I file the notice that like 157 Main Street. They file RDA, then they file notice of intent. You don't jump to the notice of intent directly because the people may not, may not want to pursue it. I don't. Understand. You lost me on that one. Yeah, yeah right. I don't understand that one either. If I ask you, can I cut down this tree? You must. Give me another another reason. You said no, you cannot cut down the tree. We're not going to uh, we're not going to approve it. Why do I spend fifteen hundred dollars to apply this way? And you are you even will never approve it. There's nothing in front of us having to do with another tree. We're here just to talk about the the roof. 
and this, there's overhanging branches that it does make sense to remove those. And in terms of brush in front of the building, that's uh, that's a maintenance issue. That's But that's what Rosemary's gonna help you with. Beyond that, I don't know what we're talking about because there's nothing else here that's in front of us that we can decide on because it hasn't been because presented I, to us. Because I have applied in the form. I applied in IDA before. And it was told that you need to come with a notice of intent as to those issues. When you do that, we will discuss them. No, it's not noted that you need to go to IDA first, then go to notice of intent. No, you don't. You can file a notice of intent at any time. You but don't have to file an RDA first. first. No, I don't want to file a notice of intent, that means because firstly, costly, second, I don't know what you want, what, do I, what are you concerned? And you want to know your concern, whether I can do it or not. Right? That makes sense. Well, we so. have a, our, our concerns are that the entire site is within the 100 foot buffer. Okay. It's also within the 200 foot riverfront protection area. Okay. So in a case like that, we require that you would file a notice of intent. No commercial work within the 100 feet of the... That, that's basically all we can tell you, in particular because you are a uh, commercial uh, property we don't allow any work within the 100 foot buffer, yeah. so that kind that's of calls clear. into question. So, so basically, if even I find anything, if cut down this tree, you will not approve it, yet, correct? <coughs> so that means if I find no type of tent, you will approve it, or does that mean, what does that mean? We could turn it down. You could turn it down. But we may not. Yeah, we, it's not in front of us. I'm not going to speculate as to what we can. And, uh, hypotheticals don't work, and we don't deal with that. If you, if you present you, it to you us, you have a problem mm. because that site is all within the buffer zone. It's mm -hmm. a commercial property, and so the bylaw clearly states that there shall be no work on a commercial or industrial property within the hundred foot buffer. That's what the bylaw says. Okay. Um, we have in the past very infrequently uh, let people do things um, within the 100 foot buffer, but it's rare. So okay. that's a problem with that property, unfortunately. Okay. So what I would suggest is that you really determine exactly what you want to do and then come and talk to us again. Um, I think we would be willing to talk with you outside of a hearing just okay. to give you some advice based okay. on what sure. your thoughts were. Yeah. You know, what do you want to do? Because I, I, I want to see means that in the future if I can cut down this yeah. tree and then make sure. some parking over there. Sure, there sure, 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 sure. I, I is think that durable or not durable? Well, it could be. It could be. You know, so what I would recommend is think about what exactly you want to do. Give us a list of what you want to discuss with us, maybe some of your questions on a piece of paper, and then uh, give that to Rosemary and we'll try to get you on our agenda. If you can do it soon, we can put you on the agenda for the 9th and we'll just discuss things. Okay. You know, we may tell you, yeah, you could do all these things, but you know, this might require a notice of intent sure. or this yeah, one that, might not. That's what I'm asking. Yes, yes. That's what I'm asking. All right, let's do yeah. that. Does okay. that sound good? Yes. All right, yeah, great to do you. that. Yeah. Is that what I'm no, no, yep. no problem. Yep. And definitely meet with uh, Rosemary, okay. and um, she'll help you get that roof, uh, roof the okay. ready to work on the roof. Great. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Any we'll, other business? Rosemary, we'll, 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 we'll to time, or you email me? I move to close the meeting. And, sure. Uh, yep. I'll send you an email, and we we'll set up a time. <laughs> We didn't vote to close the hearing period. Oh, okay. Not even vote. No, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Um, okay. I move to close the hearing on the four yeah. matters that were under discussion. At? At 8.52. Second. Uh, second. Any discussion on that? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now you can. I move to close the. the adjourn the meeting. Adjourn the meeting. Second. All, all in favor? In favor. Hi. All right, thanks. Yeah, sure. You're welcome. You have a good night. I think we can help you out.
Sure, I appreciate that. I mean, I'm, I'm open to any discussion. Yeah. You want to make that parking or you want to make that park and anything, yeah. I'm open to discussion yeah. with yeah. you. I don't know.